ponies, it's Tia Channel here, and I would like to state a couple things before the episode starts. Um, okay, so one, if I sound really awkward in this episode, it's just because I haven't done, like, an actual video like this in ages on my channel where I'm actually, like, recording with my figures and stuff like that, and not just, like, throwing in a photo of my editor and talking in my mic. I may seem a little awkward, if so, I apologize for that. It's just been a while, I just have to get to the swing of things again, so that I apologize about. I apologize if you hear any noise in the background, because there's construction going on across the street, and, you know, there's cars or whatever. I can't really block out the sound, so I apologize for that too, and I apologize for, um... The questions. The questions are still going to be how like they were in the other two episodes where like I put my phone up to the screen and record. As you guys know, my actual computer is broken. So until, you know, my actual computer gets fixed again and I have my editor back, um, it's going to be recorded like this. But eventually, once my computer is fixed, it will be up and the questions will be up in like screenshot form. So it's better high quality and all that stuff. So... Those are the things I apologize about, and another thing I want to point out is, can we take a moment to appreciate the set I did? Like, this took me forever, because I wanted to make it look nice, and for like the other two Tia Saturdays, you know, the lighting was horrible, and the set didn't look that good, so I'm like, why not change it up and look, make it look decent? So that's what I did. And I don't know, I have a random pony sitting over there. Hi! Whip, she did. Anyways, so welcome to Tia Saturday, guys. Um, I shall now start answering the questions, so yeah. So anyways, um, yeah, so for the first question, Cameron Smith says, If you voice Penelope from Wreck-It Ralph, will you do a versus of Taffeta and Penelope? You know what, that's actually a really good idea. If I were to voice Penelope from Wreck-It Ralph and do that, I would. 100%. I mean, I can actually do a pretty good taffeta voice, like, no joke, I'm not lying, like, I can do a pretty decent taffeta voice, it's not, you know, obviously it's not gonna be exactly there, like, the original voice actor, but, you know, it's pretty good, um, see, here's a sample, <clears throat> Ralph, my mean man, my mean man, Ralph, <laughs> hero's duty, who goes in the game called hero's duty, okay, that actually did suck my voice with a bit, <clears throat> sticky because I'm drinking soda, sorry. <clears throat> but yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> hopefully that was something. <laughs> Next question is from Keely. Sorry too if I pronounce you guys' names wrong. I swear I do this every single episode, so I apologize. I'm sure, pretty sure it's Keely. But your question is, if you were not a pony, what would you be? Very interesting question. Um, you know, I really I don't know. I mean, I would say another animal, but then again, that's like in like an animal type class, whatever the heck. So if it had to be something else besides an animal or a pony, I would probably just be, you know, me, human, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, just instead of my channel being, you know, this guy or whatever, girl, <laughs> called myself a guy. Um, you know, it would probably just be me, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know, to be honest. I don't know, let me be a bunny. Oh wait. This is what I would be. This. Anyways, next question. Okay, so there's a lot of questions for this person. Um, sorry to pronounce your name wrong. I see you comment on my videos once in a while. You're a really great person, so thank you for that. Um, so, I'm gonna butcher your name, but I'm guessing it's Naglafar94. If I said that wrong, I apologize so much, literally. Um, so you did more than five questions, you did eight, but since this is like the third episode of, um, Ask Tia Saturday, and, you know, um, there wasn't too many questions, I'll allow it for this episode, but next time only comment, like, five. So, yeah, you're not in trouble, don't worry. Okay, so your first question is, if you and Brony Guardian had a theme song that replaces, that rep- yeah, replaces uh, English. If you and Bruno Gardening had a theme song that represents you two together, what would it be? Well, you see, I already have a theme song that sort of represents us, and it's this Ahem, example. Oh wow, okay, my internet's gonna be a total crap. Alright. Okay, I got it. Basically this. Tia time. Come on, grab your friends, go to Mary's. Wow. Land. Marin, 
on point. I guess I would consider that um, a song that, um, or a theme song that represents us. Um, if I had to be serious though, I guess it would sort of be that and uh, the song called Partners in Crime. Like, if you haven't heard of it, like, just look it up. I don't know who it's by, but I'm sure if you look it up, you'll find the right one. But, um, yeah, that too. <clears throat> okay, uh, your second question was Coke or Pepsi? You know, I really, that, mm, that's a really hard decision. I mean, I like both, but I guess Coke then? Because, you know, Coke for Ed's world for Ed, yeah! Your third question was, have you ever experienced the great pain of stepping on a Lego block or brick? Um, to be honest, I have. And listen, this is the most relatable moment, but when you step on it, like you literally like don't feel the pain for like a couple of seconds and then it hits you and then you're like dying, literally on the ground, dying. And like, just to show you guys, I literally have this Lego set that's just sitting under here under my art table. Like, and it's the crazy cuckoo land or whatever from uh, the Lego movie, like Unikitty's Little Place. So yeah, I have stepped on one of those pieces and it hurts so bad. Your fourth question was, who your fave ponies? Don't have to be the main six. Um, well, if I had to pick the main six, it would be Pinkie Pie, but other than the main six, I really don't know. There's like a lot of background ponies that I love so much and like, you know, like Luna's a good pony like I like her and like I don't know there's just a lot I guess maybe derpy I don't know Starlight Trixie I, re I really don't know to be honest there's a whole bunch I guess my other favorite pony besides the main six would probably have to be derpy and surprisingly enough I do have derpy I used her in like one other video and like that video got a couple of views like people sort of liked it and it was like derpy was doing math or something I don't know you guys can go look at that video if you want but uh yeah here she is your fifth question was, uh, do you like to play video games? Of course I love to play video games. I literally have a Steam account and I play all the time um, TF2, which is Team Fortress 2, and I play um, sometimes Gary's My, Portal 2, uh, Counter-Strike, Global Offense, yeah, all those games. Um, <clears throat> yeah, if you guys want to add me just in case, I don't know if you guys are curious, if you want to, um, my Steam name will be in the description, so yeah. <laughs> your sixth question was, uh, what are your favorite types of games, RPG platform, RPG platform, any genre in particular? You know, my favorite genre, I guess, or like particular platform, whatever, uh, type of game would have to be first person, like shooter games. I really enjoy those games a lot. Um, I don't know, they're just really fun. And just like being able to like, I don't know, kill other people. <laughs> That's so bad to say. Demonetized. <laughs> it's not like I get monetized for my videos anyways. Um, but main point, I like first shooter games. Um, they're really fun. And uh, yeah, that's why I play TF2 like most of the time for my first shooter game. If that counts. So, e. Your next question was, have you ever tried Pocky before? If that doesn't prove anything, I don't know what does. Like, legit, I have Pocky before. I've only had the chocolate flavor. I know there's a Machi or Machu, I don't know how to even pronounce it. It's like a green flavor that just came out of Pocky, and then there's like a strawberry one. I've only tried the chocolate one, but uh, yeah, this proves it. I love Pocky. Pocky is so good. Like, I, I could eat this stuff basically like every day for like a snack. But like, I can't get it like around where I live like I mean I can but I had to like drive up there and like no one wants to drive all the way up this door to get like one box pocky so <laughs> yeah and your last question was number eight have you played I'm literally going to butcher this to to who <laughs> my voice to who to who I don't know how to pronounce that to you who you I don't know how to pronounce that whatever kill me um have you ever played that before if not try it okay I will so I'll keep that game in mind and try it. If it's on Steam, I can possibly get it. If it's free, I'll play it either way, whatever. But yeah, I will definitely try it out. Oh, -ho, the next two questions come from Brony Guardian. Ooh, this should be fun. So Brony Guardian said, <clears throat> one, for his first question, favorite life-consuming video game? 
literally when I saw his question I was thinking hard about this cuz like like I said before I play so many video games the couple that I named and you know uh, it's so hard it would, I don't know it would, it would, uh, speak to you oh my god <laughs> it would either be between TF2 or Gary's mod like those two I really like consuming I like Gary's mod cuz you know the physics and you can just do a whole bunch of things and like throw stuff and then I like TF2 cuz as I said before First person shooter game. It's really fun. There's different classes. I really don't know. Ah, that's a really hard question. I guess if I had to pick from the two, I guess TF2, like I said. I don't know. I just really love TF2. <laughs> As for a second question, was the longest anime you've ever watched? You know, I just came up with my answer right off the spot because I've been I was thinking about this for a couple of days too, but now it just hit me. Um, because I'm thinking like the only animes I've seen are animes that are like short animes that have like only like 12 episodes and then like that's it. Um, but then I thought that Samurai Jack is actually counted as an anime. Don't believe me, look it up. Literally, it is though. So Samurai Jack is considered as an anime, and I've seen all of it, and that has like I guess like maybe 50 something episodes in total. Something like that, I could be wrong. Um, so I guess Samurai Jack then, yeah. Woo. Okay, so Speedy Dash 101 has five questions here, but then he added an extra. Um, I'll answer the extra anyways, because like I said, I'm, I started up the series again, you know, there weren't that many questions for this episode, I mean, there kinda was. So I'll answer it anyways, but for the next episode, like I said, put five questions <laughs> if you want to, five is the limit. Um, so, uh, I'll answer the ones you put three days ago right here, and then I'll answer the one you put two hours ago. Um, you're lucky that I recorded this and I caught your comment, your newest one. So anyways, you wrote, it's finally back! <laughs> and your first question was, uh, what is your thoughts on any anime? My thoughts on any anime, hmm. I mean, it's really hard just to think of my thoughts on any anime. I mean, if I had to really, like, pick one, like, okay. I think a really good anime that you guys would maybe like would um, possibly be um, Death Parade. I've seen this anime before. It's really good. It, it it sort of shows like the meaning of like life almost and like what happens to people if they get reincarnated and stuff. This anime I feel like is so good if you want like a good anime and especially in the first episode too. It gives you like a little spice of life and it, like it's like it gets you intrigued and want to watch the rest of the episodes so i really recommend death parade i think that's a really good anime um and there's nothing really bad about it i mean there's not like cursing in it or any nudity or anything like that so yeah it's a perfect anime for you if you're looking for some good like action death and nothing too bad so i guess that's an anime i have like a thought on but in animes in general um most animes are good some are really bad you know it's really your decision on what anime you want to watch and what genre you really like. So, yeah. Ouch. Oh my god, I just realized this episode's going to be so long. Anyways, uh, question two says, uh, Have you ever met a fan or an online friend in real life before out of nowhere? You know, that's a really funny question because, like, I've never met a fan out of nowhere or, like, an online friend in real life out of nowhere. Um, the only time I met an online friend was BronyCon 2015. I met Silver Squirrels and MLP Fluttersong, which their name is now changed to Apricot. Um, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, those are the only two that I actually met in, like, real life. Um, but they didn't, like, pop out out of nowhere. Like, I just met them there. Um, and we met in one of the panels. It was, like, a dazzling panel. I remember that. That was such great memories. But yeah, that's, like, the only time I met any of my, like, online friends in real life. Um, I mean, there also is BG, like, when I met him, too, at BronyCon. Like, he was the first person I met, too, at, at, in 2015 BronyCon. So, if that counts, too, I don't really know. But out of nowhere, like, if I'm walking down the street and they're like, Oh my god, I know you. You're so amazing. Wow, thanks. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, that never happened, so yeah. <laughs> Question number three. What is your favorite movie so far this year? You know, that's a funny thing. Um, the only movie I've seen so far this year in 2018 that like, came out this year, it was uh, Deadpool 2, and I seen it with BG in theaters. Um, this is when I was down in Florida. And I actually have my uh, movie ticket still. I'm not going to show it because I don't feel like getting it out. It's literally right up on the shelf over here, but eh. 
Um, anyways, so yeah, I seen Deadpool 2 and it, I have to say that was an actual like really good movie too. Um, the second one is like so good. I'm not spoiling anything, but it, it's just so good. If you haven't seen it, just watch it, please. Question number three. What is your favorite? Or wait, crap, I already read that one. Sorry. Question number four. Do you like the original Teen Titans? Of course I like the original Teen Titans. Who doesn't? The new one, I'm sorry, but if you're like a fan of it, like I'm not trying to make fun of it. Like if you watch the Teen Titans Go like series that's on Cartoon Network, then that's good. Um, but for in me, in my personal opinion, um, yeah, I really just don't like it. It's just too stupid fart jokes, like too many stupid crap. I don't know. I really don't like it. Um, but the original Teen Titans, yes, I love it so much. If I didn't love the original Teen Titans, then why would I do this? Like, I legit tried making a custom of Starfire. It didn't turn out so well, and at the time, I didn't have acrylic paint, so... Yeah, it turned out like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and your last question was, uh, who's your favorite music artist? Okay, well, I have a lot, but if I had to name a couple, it would probably be, let's see, Fall Out Boy, Panic at the Disco, Train, um... Uh, who else? Uh, no, 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 trying to think. Oh, 21 Pilots. Uh, those are a couple. But yeah, I really like all their music. <laughs> and also, I did read your message right here at the bottom. Thank you so much. That's really sweet, Sweetie Dash. Um, and then your question up here that you added a couple hours ago was, um, uh, you said, have you heard about XX... I cannot pronounce that name, sorry. Death, and do you really think he is dead? I'm confused if he's really dead or not. To be honest, when I read this question before recording, I really wasn't going to answer it, but I'm just going to answer it anyways, get it out of the way. Um, because I, like, I don't really like talking about, like, stupid, well, it's not stupid, but, like, topics that have to do with, you know, like, deaths or whatever not saying you made me uncomfortable or whatever with the question i'm just saying like i don't want to talk about it because i know it's like all over the internet right now it just happened and people can't believe it da, 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 and there's wars about it or whatever online um but in my personal opinion if i really had to say anything i don't even know who xxx whatever is um to be honest like don't hate me or whatever but i literally don't know who he is he died and everybody was like flipping out was like listening to his music and i'm like who is this person i never heard of him probably because i'm never i'm not really into like rap music i think his music was like related to rap i'm not sure um but yeah <laughs> and about his death i don't really know if he's actually there or not um People say that he could have faked his death because some celebrities do that to get it out of like fame or whatever. I really don't know, but if he did die, then I guess rest in peace. Okay, the last two questions. This episode's probably gonna be like 20 minutes long. I don't know if anybody's gonna watch this. Jeez. Okay, so the next question is from Katie Sparkles. Do you watch Steven Universe? And if so, which is your favorite gem? Sorry, Katie, that I read that in like the most retarded voice. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> um. Yes, I do watch Steven Universe, and if, wait, what did you say, if you, which is your favorite gem? Okay, my favorite gem, um, that's, I never really thought of that, I like all of them to be honest, because like, each of their personalities are so nice, but I like Garnet because, you know, that's my birthstone, and like, Garnet is like, actually, me not two gems, Sapphire and Ruby, da da da, but if I really had to pick overall, I think I would pick, um, Pearl, because, just because of like, what just happened, which, by now, I can probably say it, because by now, like, the episode's been airing for, like, been out for a couple of weeks now, but for no for knowing that Pearl was actually Pink Diamond's, like, Pearl, you know, think about it in a way, you know, I don't know, I just really like Pearl, and the way she is with her emotions, like, she holds it in, she doesn't really say it, she's a, sort of a mysterious character or whatever, and, like, just, just the way she expresses her emotions, I really don't know, I know that's really deep, but... I really like her character for that. They do great development on her. So, yeah, she's my favorite gym. And then, oh my god, the last question of all, which is from Lindsay, which I'm not going to butcher her last name because I did it in, like, the second episode of the first and I screwed it up so badly, so I'm not going to do that again. Um, so, I'm just going to read her whole comment. comment. Um, she said, oh my goodness, I haven't seen that pic in so long. I shall make you a, a new one. It will be much better. My writer has improved a ton since when I made that, and I want you to have the best, the best of the best. 
Oh, right. Also, I got a question. What are what are some fandoms that you're currently into? Um, as for the art, Lindsay, again, I know I texted you on Skype about it. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are curious, this is actually the creator of the thumbnail art, which says, like, has tea to Saturday and has tea in, like, the little suit or whatever. Um, yeah, Lindsay was the one that made that, so credit to her if you haven't been subscribed to her, go subscribe to her. I think she's awesome. Her art is amazing. So yeah, go subscribe to her. Um, and as for your question, what fandoms that I'm into right now? Hmm. Well, in my next video, I actually have like a custom that I did and it's from one of the fandoms that I'm really into right now. So that video will either be coming out, I don't know, like Sunday maybe or Monday. I really don't know when to upload it because like, you know, I don't really upload much. So like, I don't know. Um, but as for the fandoms I'm into right now, let's see. Mm -mm. My Little Pony, obviously. Steven Universe. And two hours later. And you know, Invader Zim. Oh yeah, Samurai Jack. <laughs> yeah, all those. So amazing. I love all those fandoms. Those are the ones that I'm really into right now, so yeah. So guys, that was the end of episode 3 of Tia Saturday. This is going to be a really long episode, even if I sh trim it down at all. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, leave, you know, your questions down below so I can record the next episode. And, uh, yeah. And if you guys really like this episode, I, I want to know. So, like, tell me in the comments if you really did enjoy it. I tried being funny. I don't know. I, again, I'm sorry if I was a bit awkward. And if you guys did like it, you can either tell me in the comments or give this video a like. Because I want to know if you guys are enjoying this. Because I want to continue a series that my subscribers are enjoying. And that I enjoy creating. So, if you guys like it, you know, give this video a like if you want to. And, uh, yeah, comment down below, and, uh, I'll see you guys next